I'm PJ Masks fans. Today we're back in Romeo's science lab for another toy science lesson with the night villain Romeo. We have all our science equipment ready. We have some special red color, colorful science candy, a green microscope, and some super sticky blue science slime. Look how icky this slime is! Okay, Romeo, are you ready to show us how to make our favorite toys using science experiments? Let's go! In our first toy experiment, Romeo is going to show us how to turn a dog into a superhero. So we need a dog to start. Hmm, I know. Let's use Pluto. Okay, everyone, who is Pluto's best friend? Let me know in the comments. The next step is to take this Paw Patrol pop badge. And we'll have Pluto sit on this badge, like this. Now let's put the Pluto and the Paw Patrol badge in this Super Science Jar. The Super Science Jar is where our science experiments turn into toys. The last step of the experiment is to add some drops of this special red color into the Super Science Jar. We'll use this purple dropper to add the red color. And now let's add three drops. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, Romeo. Now you can zap this and turn Pluto into a superhero dog. Wow! It looks like it's working. Let's open the jar and see if the experiment really worked. Awesome! It's Everest from Paw Patrol. Everest is a snow pup who rescues people in the snowy mountains. Just like a hero. She's so brave. I love Everest's light blue outfit. But let's see if we can make Everest a more colorful superhero. Let's put Everest back inside the super science jar. And now let's take colorful candy. And add some to the jar. That should be enough. Okay, Romeo, let's make Everest a more colorful hero. Wow, that was cool. Let's see what Romeo made us. <laughs> it's Everest dressed as Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. Her head and tail look like a rainbow. And now Everest can fly just like Rainbow Dash. Everest is a cool flying superhero. Great job, Romeo! Bye, Everest! In our second experiment, Romeo is going to show us how to make Dory from Finding Dory. Since Dory swims in the ocean, let's take this fishbowl filled with water. Okay, Romeo, let's see how you can make Dory appear. That was so cool! There is a fish swimming in the water! Hmm, but Dory is a blue fish and this fish is orange! Okay, Finding Dory fans, what is the name of this orange fish? Let me know in the comments! So let's take some of this special blue color and add a few drops to the fishbowl. Like this! Let's not forget to close the drawer with this orange cap. Okay, Romeo, let's try to zap this again and find Dory. Wow, it's Dory from Finding Dory, and she's swimming in our fishbowl. Doesn't she look like a real pet fish? Wow, that's a lot of water! It's a good thing Dory knows how to swim! Let's see if we can make Dory swim really fast! 
There she goes. Look how fast Dory swims around the ball. I wonder if she gets dizzy. I love this finding Dory toy. Good job, Romeo. I love this finding Dory toy. But I think Dory looks lonely. Romeo, can you give Dory a friend to swim with in the fishbowl? Wow, nice! Now Dory has a friend to play with. Look how much fun they're having swimming around. In our next experiment, we're going to use a microscope. A microscope makes really, really small things look big so we can see what it looks like. Here is our microscope dish. And here is some science marshmallows. Let's use this red tool and pick out three marshmallows for our dish. One, two, and three marshmallows. There, that should be enough. Let's put that back. The next step is to add some blue science slime. This science slime is extra icky compared to regular slime, so I have to use this tool to pick it up. Okay, that looks like enough slime. Now let's put our marshmallows under the microscope. And see what it looks like. Are you ready? Wow! Awesome! It's all the frozen characters floating around. I see Elsa and Kristoff. Do you see anyone else from the Frozen movie? Let me know in the comments. I love the Frozen movie. It was so much fun. Using a microscope is so much fun. Now let's see if Romeo can turn these marshmallows into a big frozen toy. So let's take the dish filled with marshmallows and slime. And now Romeo can zap it to make a big frozen toy. Oh no! It's Marshmallow the snow monster from Frozen! And he looks so scary! Wow, he's growing! Yay! We scared him away! Good job! He's small again! Awesome! The icicles on his back are so sharp and pointy! Ouch! Romeo, can you make us a friendly snowman and not another monster? Nice! It's Olaf! This is much better, Romeo! Olaf is the nicest and funniest snowman ever! Thanks for saving us from that monster marshmallow! Olaf is the nicest and funniest snowman ever! Thanks for saving us from that monster marshmallow! Next, Romeo is going to show us how to make a red superhero with spider superpowers. Okay, so we take this special red color and add three drops. One, two, three. Now let's shake it and watch the water turn bright red. Romeo, are you ready to zap this red water and make us a red superhero with spider superpowers? Hmm, Elmo is red, but he doesn't have spider superpowers. He just has spider webs on him. This isn't a red superhero with spider powers. Romeo! Let's try one more time to make a red superhero with spider superpowers. Awesome! It's Spider-Man! Now this is the superhero we were looking for. Spider-Man is red and blue and he uses spider webs to fly across the city. This toy is so cool! Thanks, Romeo! 
Okay, that's all for the Romeo Science Lab today. Romeo tricked us a few times, but he helped us make cool toys in his lab. If you had fun with Romeo, give us a big thumbs up. And for more PJ Masks videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Ellie Sparkles. Bye.